Hey guys, Dave from Tsunami Hydrographic Coatings here. I wanted to do a little uh, video on this control panel from Jake at Hydro or uh, PA Hydrographics. Uh, the only issues that I have are these two boxes right here. First one was my temperature would have to drop down two degrees for me to turn the pump on and get the heaters to kick in. Um, I would have to raise my temperature up to 92 if my pump was still running, the water would get a little warm anyway. It was driving me a little nuts, so I called the factory. Here's what we do. You, set, you press the set button. There's the two degrees, and I don't know if all your tanks are set up like that, but mine was specifically set up at two degrees. And all you got to do is just hit the parameter right here, drop the button down, get down. I'm down to 0 0.7. I just want to stick with that one there. Hit the set button again one more time, and you're back to 0 0.7 degrees of parameter when the pumps will, or the heaters will turn back on. The second issue I had was the way he has this set up on the timer here is the hours and the minutes. So what you do is you, you've got one minute on it, you hit your timer, and your time starts dropping down from a minute. This little light flashes, and when it gets to a minute, when you're, you don't have a countdown, uh, it'll, the, the alarm will go off. Okay. So what I found out from the factory is this. You open up this little box here. Tyler, come on here a little closer so we can show them. There's a little trap door right here on the side of this. I've got this protector here, or actually the mount is pulled back so I can get to this little box. I slid this back by loosening these screws up. There's six, seven, and eight. Right underneath here, you can see six, seven, and eight right down here. Those are your timer parameters. And I'll show you the website where you can learn on what parameters you want. The, I think the way Jake has it set is, is six is up, seven is down, and eight is up. And if you want 0 seconds to 999 seconds, you're going to want 6 to be down, 7 to be up, and 8 to be down. So we're going to invert these real gently. Close that little rascal back there. Okay, and now you're going to want to turn your machine off because it needs to reset itself or reboot. Click it back on. Now we got seconds. We got one second there. So if I hit my timer one second, it's on its way. Um, if I want to 21 seconds, hit the timer. Actually, that was still set at one second, so let's do it one more time. There, now it goes back to 21. Starts. You've got a countdown. You can keep an eye on it. Plus, you've got the alarm. Anyway, it makes it a little simpler. The next thing I just wanted to show you, the website. It's got the... Uh, that's Panasonic Timers, LT4H is the one I have. You go to Catalog, PDF right here, click on that there. And I think on page 3 or 4, just scroll down, and that will drive you nuts. It will um, give you right here on page, what did I go too far? Yeah, I went too far. 1, 2, 3, where am I at? Right here. There it is right there. This tells you all your seconds and everything on page 5. Anyway, all right, guys, this is Dave with Tsunami Hydrographics. I hope this helped you uh, with your machines and uh, make life a little simpler for you. Thanks again.